Good morning. Oh my goodness. So today's an exciting day. It's Jan 4 of 2019 and I'm getting interviewed today. Well, I'll be part of an interview today by the uh, Globe and Mail. So I've, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm actually really nervous. <coughs> and I don't know what it is. I think it's like the stress, but whenever there's like a big thing coming up, I always feel like I want to get sick. So yeah, I feel a little feverish, but it'll be okay. I think I just need some coffee and mascara and I'm good to go so um not much this morning to do except for I have to get ready I have to do my nails and I'm gonna read up on some pointers this one or this one um I really 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 broke my nail while in Montreal during the holidays and it's significantly shorter than my other nails so I figured that if I do something a little bit lighter it won't be as like in your face. Hey, you're missing part of your nail. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. I haven't even figured out an outfit yet for today. down uh, it'll take me about a half an hour to get down there to our meeting point and so with that I'll be about 15 minutes early which is good because I like to have a little bit of time just to kind of like gather my thoughts and things so if you're watching this and you helped me get dressed this morning thank you because I actually blasted out on Facebook that I need a personal stylist I actually oh I was, last night babe was like saying oh honey you know why don't you figure out what you're gonna wear tonight? And I'm like, no, 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 I was tired. And so I was like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And the top that I was gonna wear, it no longer fits my boobs. Um, it's like a pre-pregnancy top, and it does not fit on my post-child body, which is okay. Um, it just gives me an excuse to go shopping. But yeah, I need to work on my style. I think that's something I, I'm gonna figure out this year too, is to work on my, my personal style, as well as my closet. I need to do a closet cleanup. I keep saying I wanna do a closet cleanup. I've been wanting to do a closet cleanup for a year now, and I keep putting it off. I think it's because it's so daunting. There's just so much to do. I have like stuff from high school. Yeah, like lots of stuff from high school. So yeah, I'm excited. This interview is with the Globe and Mail with Caitlin Agnew. Um, I'm probably butchering her last name. And then also Roberta Lacey, who's a wonderful, beautiful lady from head office. Uh, she's going to be there as well. And so that makes me feel a little bit better because at least I'm not there alone by myself. I get so nervous. I uh, was just on the phone with Anne-Marie and she was like giving me a prep talk. And Heather was uh, also giving me a pep talk online. So it's good, it's good, it's good. Pusa. It'll be good, it'll be good. So we're meeting at a cafe at Fairview Mall because it's a central point for both of us. So ah, excited. Okay, I'm home now and I'm done. Oh my gosh, it was a lot of fun. It was actually really interesting. Um, I really enjoyed it. The interviewer, uh, Caitlin, she's really nice actually. She was really, really nice. We had a really nice conversation before and after the interview. And at first I was really, really nervous. And I don't know if that I came off that way, but I felt myself like flushed and sweating. And after she left um, Roberta, who's the VP of marketing with Avon Head Office, she actually, uh, I was like, I need to take my sweater off. Or well, my, my uh, blazer off because I was like, so hot and what I really really enjoyed about the day was that I actually got a chance to pick Roberta's brain to learn more about marketing and marketing strategies and uh, she's gonna put me in contact with someone so that I can learn how to you know um, put out content better and see what else I can improve on so yeah that was really cool it's my first time actually talking to a reporter about Avon uh, back I think it was like 2017 in April yeah, I think it was in 2017, April. Um, I actually, I had another interview, it was with a kit, and that was published in like the Toronto Star. Uh, well, the kit, it was in, published in the kit, which um, 
it's uh, distributed in like the Toronto Star and like six major, um, I think it's six. Oh my gosh, I have no memory right now. But anyways, it's, it's published in like various uh, newspapers across the country. So that was a really cool experience too. But that was all through email. So I basically, I just had some questions asked and I just fired those out. Um, and that's it. This time I actually had to talk. I had to articulate what was going on in my brain and keep my thoughts all in the best way possible, making sense and staying on topic, which is something I'm really bad at. If you follow my channel, you know how I kind of sometimes go off on tangents. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you for joining me while I went and uh, experienced my first reporter interview for Avon. It was a lot of fun, and hopefully, you know, hopefully I get to do it again sometime because I really did enjoy it. So, mwah, mwah, mwah. see you guys in the next video. Bye!